Flashforge Dreamer 3D printer. I'm printing the um, uh, articulated elephant at 30% infill. So. about an hour in, one hour fourteen, and wow, look at that, he is looking fantastic, all my concerns are pretty much gone at the moment, that is astonishing, I should try printing this in high resolution, this is only 0.2mm, worked out fine, the legs look pretty good, a little bit of clean up needed but um, that looks pretty pretty cool. Look at this, look at the detail, you can even move the trunk up and down a little bit, All right. so his legs move, All right. so we can lie down see if I can get it closer. This is with hardly any clean up at all. 0.2 millimeters. Very, very happy. Uh, beautiful uh, finishing off on the top. Uh, let's see if that can focus there. Now, his, uh, his head can move as well. Alright, so just like that. And his back legs and his front legs. So there's a, uh, a happy little elephant printed on the Flashforge Dreamer. Cool. Put him up here. Yep, so that's excellent. Excellent design printed on an excellent printer. Very, very happy. Okay, so I'm outside now and this is. Uh, the elephant that I printed on the Flashforge Dreamer at 0.2 millimeters. You can see there's still some uh, uh, fine spiderweb sort of hairlines in there, but it did the uh, did the trunk pretty well. It seemed to turn out really well. I'm pretty impressed. Um, it's a lot stronger than you uh, than you think. Yeah, I was originally worried about the uh, overhang on its belly, but uh, yeah, as you can see, it seemed to work pretty well. Uh, no real issues, just that bit's flat, and it just worked. And some people have had problems with it not filling in right, but this is using the slicer option in the flash print software that comes with the Flash Forge uh, Dreamer, and Perfect first go. This is uh, my very first attempt at printing 
uh, this little elephant and uh, yeah I reckon he turned out great okay here we are again at the Flashford Dreamer now I'm doing the elephant uh, at 80 microns now here's how the elephant came out uh, this is at 200 microns so this is 0.2 millimeters look at this this is now 12 layers of plastic and you can barely see it it took uh, four layers of plastic uh, before you could even tell that it was white so this is what 80 micron prints look like So we're still in the infield there now. Three hours, twelve minutes into the print on the Flashforge stream. This is all it's done. There's a reference. Yeah, that much. <laughs> but wow, the resolution. That's 80 microns. Seven shells, and there goes the infill. It's a thirty percent. Oh, sorry, fifty percent infill. Maybe I should have done thirty. We are thirteen hours into the print, and we're halfway. So if we have a look. This is what 80 microns look like. You can't see the individual layers anymore. And you can see it's just doing a infill. It's actually drawing hexagonal shapes. But uh, yeah, it's so fine you can't even see. But have a look at this. Twenty-two hours and forty-three minutes into this build, uh, the elephant at eighty microns, taking a lot longer than I thought. <laughs> and here we go. Wow, look at that. That's, uh, let's have a look. I probably shouldn't have done the infill quite so high. I wish I changed that. Oh. But anyway, look at the print quality. 80 microns. Absolute, absolutely amazing. Um, can't, can't really tell the individual layers anymore. Let's look at the trunk. Wow. That's some pretty fine detail. Now, what I'll do, I'll put my finger in there for a size comparison. So, <laughs> now you can uh, get an idea of how small this thing is. 
24 hours, 25 minutes into the elephant at 80 microns. Okay, let's have a look. It's finished the back, so it's now just still in the ears. So let's just have a look. So that's the end of printing the elephant at 80 microns and it took 24 hours and 28 minutes. Wow, but let's have a look at that quality. That's um, absolutely amazing. Now I'll put my finger there for a size reference. <laughs> so there's uh, that gives you an idea of how many layers there are. And that is smooth, it's smooth. Yeah. Alright, so that's the little elephant at 80 microns. So here we are. Uh, these were both printed on the Flashforge Dreamer. This one is at 200 microns, or 0.2 millimetres infill. And you can just see the lines. And, uh, and you can see the infill up there, that's fine. This one is at 80 microns, um, 0 0.08 millimetres. And as you can see, there's pretty much no lines anywhere that can be seen. Uh, about two and a half hours to print. This one took over 24 hours to print. So let's have a look at the 200 micron. You can see the detail in the trunk there. Uh, the head moves. Everything moves, that's fine. Um, there, there's a good shot of the uh, lines and you can see how it closed it off up the top. Okay, alright, so that's 200 microns. Uh, oh, 0 0.2 millimeter layer height. That's pretty good. This is 80 microns. So, there we go. You can see right through there. And there's the details on the trunk. <coughs> we'll have a look at the ears. Can't really see much, but that's smooth. And then on the side, no, you can't really see the layers. And it's smooth to the touch. And right up the top where it was filling in the layers. No, pretty much can't see anything there either. Oh, wait, you can... I think you can nearly make it out, but... Well, not much at all. But, uh, yeah, all the legs move. That's fine. So they were both printed on the Flashforge Dreamer. This one at 80 microns. And this one at 200. So... There we go. Okay. Bye.